Welcome to another episode of What is Hashimoto's with Dr. Martin Rutherford. To find out more on any of our topics or for information on scheduling a consultation with Dr. Rutherford, please visit us at whatishashimoto's.com. And now, here's Dr. Rutherford. What is a Hashimoto's flare-up? Okay, so the question for the day is, what is a Hashimoto's flare-up? So Hashimoto's, whew, man, Hashimoto's can present itself in so many different ways, it's crazy. And it can have so many different triggers and the, the, the numbers can be all over the place. And so there's a variety of things that would that would tell you if, if your, your particular Hashimoto syndrome is first unstable. It has to be unstable for you to get flare-ups. And what that means is that the immune system has reached the level of attacking your uh, thyroid uh, at a high level, at a very high level. And, and, and so there's like 40 triggers and you're gonna have a number of them if you have Hashimoto's. And, and as these triggers start to continue to um, be incurred by you as life goes on, uh, your immune system is going to become more and more reactive to them. And uh, not everybody's, not everybody's. But, but the person who has a flare-up, your immune system is very reactive to it. Um, it might be because you have a viral infection. A, a, a lot of these triggers um, can, can create a more susceptible patient. It could be that you have, actually have a viral infection in your thyroid. It could be any number of different viruses. It could just be that your, that your um, Th1 system, which is the system that attacks most of the time, um, that, that could be overactive. But the point being, what you're gonna be experiencing is, is, is a combination of hypo and hyperthyroid symptoms. And so those hypo and hyperthyroid symptoms are gonna be, the hypo is gonna be, I'm overweight, my hair's falling out, my skin's dry, my I've got constipation, I'm fatigued, I can't get out of bed, I have good days, I have bad days, on my good days, I do everything I can't do on the bad days and I crash and my hair is falling out. I think I said that one already. And then intermittently what's gonna happen is you're gonna get hyper symptoms. When you're getting the hyper symptoms is when you are having a degree of flare up. Some are it's mild and some are off the charts. And that's heart anxiety, panic attacks, heart palpitations, night sweats. Uh, insomnia, inward tremors, um, uh, those are the main ones, okay. Now, it, as it starts to really ramp up in those people who have those symptoms, now you can start getting actual physiological abnormalities from it. Your, your, your reflexes will become hyper-reflexive. Your heart, like I said, will start pounding. Maybe you'll start sweating. You might start getting a lot of sweating on your palms, you might stop blinking. I mean, this is when you start getting, when you, when you get a big flare up and you start having seeing those types of things. But the main thing, but the main thing is your thyroid will, your thyroid will swell. Your thi you know, it's funny, um, when, uh, once I started palpating thyroids, uh, I was in shock how many people came in here was told their thyroids were normal. <laughs> and I would put my fingers there and they'd go, ooh, that hurts. Because their thyroid was in, in, inflamed and it was swollen. But, I, but and, and, and so there's all different degrees of that. I mean, I have had people in here where I'm doing a, I'm doing a, a, a video consultation and I can see their thyroid, you know, um, literally pulsating, okay? So, uh, some people get goiters, but, but a flare up is like when your thyroid flares up, you, have, you, have, you, you may have difficulty swallowing, it may, it may, it may cause your throat to, to, to close or it may cause your, your voice to change. And it's, and it's usually tender and you feel terrible. Usually when you get a flare up, you feel terrible. You don't feel good, you know, you feel like maybe you got a, you might even feel like you have a flu because viral issues can, can, can frequently be involved with flare ups 
um, of that nature, so they're, they're pretty severe. Um, as far as a thyroid patient goes, the, the, when you start getting to the point where you know, you're sweating and your heart's palpating and then your thyroid's tender and it swells up, and, it's, and, and in people who really are like, let's say a seven, eight, nine, 10 on this scale, maybe six, seven, eight, nine, 10 on the scale of, of Hashimoto flare-ups, I mean, usually they're gonna be able to feel their thyroid, they're gonna know it's swollen and puffy, it's gonna be tender, and then it'll go down. And then it'll go down when, the, when, when now maybe, maybe, you, you know, maybe you're, you're having a day where you're totally relaxed, you haven't eaten anything that's gonna flare anything up, you haven't over-exercised, you haven't done any of the number of things that when you put them all together will trigger uh, this particular type of flare stress, huge trigger. But you, you usually have to have a number of these other things going on for, for that to flare it up. But it's really about you going into s significant hyperfunction and most notable flare-ups, you're going to get, you're gonna get swelling. And if you're getting that, by the way, I mean, you, <laughs> you're missing a lot of triggers. If, you're even know what, if you even know what I'm referring to as triggers. But if you're missing that, that is the accumulation of a lot of triggers that are just putting you on the edge. And then one day you, you don't sleep enough, one day you, over, you overdo it, one day you overexercise, or you just do too many things or maybe you eat something that's a, a particular uh, trigger for Hashimoto's, or you eat something that's a particular trigger for you and boom. And then it's off to the races. And, and, and the flares can last for weeks, uh, weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. They can last for a couple of days, they can la or they can last until you finally find somebody who knows how to help you to, to get out of it. So it could last for months. So yes, there are such things as Hashimoto's flares. That's what they look like. And, uh, and when you get them, it, you just need to know, you need to find somebody to help you get out of, not just that flare, but get you know, the, all the underlying stuff under, under control to the degree as possible. So you don't have those flares anymore and that's, and the, and that is possible to do. So those, that is kind of the Cliff Notes summation of um, Hashimoto's flares. Thank you for joining us for another episode of What is Hashimoto's? To find out more on any of our topics or for information on scheduling a consultation with Dr. Rutherford, please visit us at whatishashimotos.com.